Hey everybody, it's the old man here in my shop to have a little shop talk about projects and the budget. It's been about a month since the anchor dragging incident and we have not had a chance to go sailing, okay? And the reason why is because I have picked up a lot of side work. I've just been working my little patootie off. I'm a tired old man. <laughs> But because of that, I have really boosted up the budget and I have picked up quite a bit of stuff. Um, I would say I have tripled the budget this month to probably around $1,500. And I'm hoping to do that again for at least another month and we're going to pick up some more good stuff. Um, so pretty happy about that. I'm going to try to keep this video sort of short. And just catch you up on the projects I'm doing because I know a lot of people are interested in the things you got to do to a boat to get it ready to go cruising. I'll be cutting in and out to scenes of what I've got going on as best I can so the video may be a little choppy. But I've got three major projects going on at the moment. I got bilge pumps. <sighs> I got batteries. And I got the water system. So the water system first. The boat has an integral fiberglass tank in the V-berth. That's what the V-berth is basically, is the tank. It is compromised. It has a leak somewhere and the finish on the inside is shot. Uh, so it's basically no good. The hoses are nasty. I'm essentially removing everything. I've taken out all the hoses. I've emptied the tank. I'm going to cut into the lid of the tank and I'm going to insert a bladder tank. I'm going to basically use a flexible water tank, 31 gallon Plastimo flexible water tank. Now my next project that's going on at the same time is the bilge pumps. And that's one of the things that the budget boost has allowed me to get is some of the equipment necessary to do that. Here is a couple of pumps. I got a small pump. On the boat, I have a Rule 1500. It's either a 15 or a 2, I'm not sure which. And then I got this big boy here. I've got all new switches, float switches, and I've got this and another one on the boat uh, to control the new pumps, bus bars uh, for power distribution. And I have picked up some new wiring along with a big bunch of supplies uh, as far as electrical terminals. Now this, of course, is going to be good for for more than one project. I also picked up a really nice pair of crimpers. Don't know how much sailing we're going to get over the next month. We got a camping trip coming up next weekend. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to focus on the projects. Now, the other project I've got going is the battery situation. Um, my boat essentially had four separate batteries in two separate compartments. I really have never liked it. Two of the batteries were bad when we got it, um, and the two that are on there are okay for what we've got going now, which is basically nothing. Um, but what I have found out is I don't have a lot of room to mount batteries anywhere. I can't fit them in my bilge like a lot of people can. They just won't fit. My bilge is too shallow. The boxes that came from the factory are for two Group 24 batteries. What I have found is that they are just big enough that I can put two six volt golf cart batteries in there and have 225 amp hours when you hook them in series. That's a pretty good start. I'm going to have a separate battery uh, for a starter battery, but that's going to come later. First, I'm just going to go with these. I had some used batteries that I was going to put in there uh, because I redid my mother-in-law's golf cart. Um, but since I've got the boosted budget here, I'm going to go ahead and get fresh batteries to put in there because if I'm going to put them big old 60 pound batteries in there, I only really want to do it once. And golf cart batteries tend to last five to six years in most of, uh, in these type of applications. So I'm pretty happy about that too. And let me show you a couple of the other things that we picked up on our expanded budget this month. One thing we did was sell the stove, that old pressurized alcohol stove. A guy wanted it. He had it shipped to himself. I got $250 for that stove. 
I bought these little babies for $69.99 a piece on eBay. Little 10 pounders that'll fit in the lockers where the pressurized alcohol tank was. Picked up some epoxy resin from Total Boat, which is something I've been wanting to try. Also got a little bit of thickener. And we also picked up this gallon of Total Bilge. This is an epoxy bilge paint because a lot of the lockers down in there need some fresh paint in them. Here we have some of the replacement parts for the water system. Hose clamps, 50 feet of hose, and fresh faucets. These are going to be much nicer. I also picked up this little expansion tank. It's just a two-gallon expansion tank, but it'll help make the water system more convenient. I found this little puppy online. We're going to mount this out in the cockpit on the binnacle just to give us a place to keep our drinks and keep the cell phones from rattling around too much. I also have the water tank already because this was only $100, just over $100 and $101 at Defender Marine, which is a really good price. You get that if you're the Defender First member, which is what I am. You know, it's 50 bucks a year or something like that, so it's worth it. So really that's about it. Uh, you know, just been working, working, working six days a week, basically. <laughs> I feel like I'm working more now than I ever was, but uh, it's all good. You know, it's going toward the boat budget and you can't argue with that. A couple of things that we hope to buy next month on this budget is we're going to get a new anchor. The rock that we want is $3.99 at West Marine, 33 pounder. Um, oh. And we want to get a small refrigerator, one of the portable refrigerators. I found one that I kind of like. Hopefully I can show you the link for it uh, to Amazon. Um, but it's like $249. And we just want to leave that on board uh, to keep some things cool and to cycle the batteries and see how well that works. Okay, between the solar, the 230 amps of battery power, and a refrigerator. We'll see how it goes. So really, that's about it for this uh, episode. Not so exciting as others, but, you know, wanted to keep everybody up to date. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you out there on the water soon.